Beautiful Cancers, welcome to your April 2021 love reading. Um, let's get straight into it. I have done a bit of a pre-shuffle and from what I can see, um, you're kind of at a crossroads or not really. It's kind of like you've got one foot in, one foot out. Um, and Spirit is saying that you're stalling, you're procrastinating, you don't want to take a leap of faith. Um, yeah, so look, I'll show you the cards. There's a lack of closure in a situation. You've got unfinished business in the reverse. You have TikTok in the reverse. So it's kind of like you feel like time is against you. Um, and you've got between two worlds. That's what I was talking about when I said you've got one foot in, one foot out. It's like um, you're not ready to let something go or you're not ready to take a risk. You're not ready to walk through a door into the unknown is what I'm picking up on. Let's see. Angels and Spirit, what is going on for Cancer in Love in April 2021? What is going on for Cancer in Love in April 2021, please? Yeah, it's a decision that you're refusing to make. Um, you've got choices here. Um, so you could be you could be choosing between someone new and you know someone that you're comfortable with, someone that you're very familiar with, someone that you could have been involved with for a long time. Um, Just bear with me a second. You do have the twin flame card here, which is pretty powerful. Um, so for some of you, this decision, maybe you're stalling, maybe you're procrastinating because the decision requires you to, to open up to a connection that is super, super powerful, that requires you to be vulnerable, that is going to test you. It's going to be filled with challenges. It's going to require you to to merge and balance your energies. You have a really strong sexual chemistry with this person. Um, and this connection is going to require a lot of honesty and trust. It could be that, you know, some of you are still tying up loose ends with an ex. Maybe some of you are still living with this person. We have common law union. Um, so there's still like ties to the past. So you're not really free to make a move into a new connection. But I'm definitely seeing a love triangle here. So we've got choices and we have love triangle. So definitely more than one person in the picture. Okay. I'm getting someone who could be very, very different from what you're used to because I'm just seeing opposites attract. It's not here in the cards, but I'm just, that's what I'm picking up on. Okay. Let's have a look at um, who you're dealing with. Angels and Spirit, who is Cancer dealing with in April 2021? Who is their person of interest or people of interest, given that there are choices? Angels and Spirit, show me who does Cancer have their eye on in April 2021? Ah, there's the third party situation. Okay, so we do have the Three of Swords. Um, at the bottom of the deck, we have the High Priestess. Now, as many of you would know, that's the number two in the Major Arcana, uh, in the Tarot deck. Number two card. So again, I'm getting that duality. I'm getting the choice between two and very, very different people. I feel like you're choosing between opposites, polar opposites. You know, you've got one dark pillar and one white pillar. So interesting that you're being presented with two 
very distinct possibilities. Um, I feel like you might have been attracted to someone for, for quite some time and you've kept it on the down low. It's been a secret. Um, yeah, third party situations really coming through strong here. We have the three of cups. Um, you've got two queens here. So another, you know, third party indication. All right. You've got the queen of pentacles in the reverse and you have the queen of wands. There's someone who you have much more chemistry with. One person might be quite safe and secure and familiar and comfortable and the other person you're much more passionate about. That is, that's what this is showing me. Okay. I feel like um, you've been trying to figure this out for quite some time and you're feeling forced to make a decision, but it's stressing you out. That's what I'm getting from the Temperance card. That's what I'm getting from the Three of Wands and the Nine of Swords. This is stress. This is losing sleep over this decision. And look, you have the Seven of Cups in the reverse. So it's, it's almost as, as if you, you're at that point where you, you've been cornered. You have no choice but to decide now. Okay. Um, yeah, it's, it's been, something's been happening in, behind closed doors. We've got secrets here with the moon. It could be that you developed feelings for a friend. That's what I'm getting with the um, three of cups next to the moon card. Um, you know, the moon can be a very romantic energy, so it's kind of like friendship blooming into a romance. Um, now, for many of you, you'll be dealing with a Sagittarius because we have the Temperance card here. Um, what else am I getting? We've got Pisces energy here. And just... Um, I'm feeling intuitively some of you could be dealing with a Taurus and some of you could be dealing with a Aquarius. All right, and I feel like you're going to be choosing the new love, okay? Because look, I sometimes see the magician as a decision. You know, when the magician comes out in the upright position and someone needs to make a choice or, or a choice um, needs to be made, um, I tell the client that, you know, you're in the, in the, the decision-making seat. You're going to have the final say. You're going to have the final call. If the magician came up in the um, reverse, different story. So, Cancer, you're going to be in a position to choose. And I'm getting with the sun card. You're going to go with the new love, okay? So, I see you letting go of the old love. We have the Ace of Swords in the reverse. So that's just showing me that you've had a lot of uncertainty and confusion around this decision and you haven't wanted to let go of the past person just yet. Yeah. Look, there's, there's your indecision. I feel like you're putting the past to bed now. Judgment in the reverse. You don't want to revive that relationship from the past. Um, and look, I'm even seeing with this combination here, you've got the Ten of Pentacles, the Page of Wands in the reverse, and then you've got the Knight of Pentacles. It's like you're turning your back to something that was quite long term, something that was quite stable. Um, and you are kind of focused on building something new with this new person. Yeah. It's like you're charging towards an ending, okay? To make way for something new. I'm seeing it very clearly in the cards. Um, I'm seeing that you're going to go with, you know, this new person. Alright, so... Interesting. Show me more about what's going on for Cancer in Love in April 2021. Yeah, look, it's like you're trying to release yourself from the past um, 
the devil in the reverse. Let's have a look at the Moonology deck. What's going on for Cancer in love? Please, angels and spirit, what is going on for Cancer in love in the month of April 2021? Oops. Yeah, look, what do you need to release so you're letting go of the old? And you're also overcoming fears, doubts, insecurities, fear of the unknown. Um, so I, I definitely feel like you are breaking free of something. And um, yeah, there's the fiery climax, which is kind of ine inevitable when you've got a third party situation. Um, yeah, that's just what I'm seeing. Nothing really else there is kind of sticking out to me. All right, let's have a look at your simple love advice. What does Cancer need to know in love in April 2021? What is the advice? So look, you've got courage here. So courage to take the leap of faith. Um, you're gonna need courage to show your feelings. Um, look, I keep being shown that, you know, portal, the door opening, one door opening, one closing and you letting go of the old. That's just what keeps coming up. You do need to be cautious and Cancer, you are usually very cautious, you know, like the crab always <laughs> goes sideways instead of, you know, a direct approach. They're very cautious. Um, so you've got be careful and warning. So obviously um, this is a delicate situation that I'm being shown know where to go to from here let's have a look at the angel answers what does cancer need to know in april 2021 when it comes to love please angels and spirit show me clearly yeah look at the bottom of the deck you've got choose a new direction Yeah, look at that. So you've got romance, look for a sign. It's almost as if you've been like looking for the right time to kind of take this leap of faith. And Spirit is saying you're going to need to trust and just take that action. All right, so the time has come. Um, when you think about it, we're in Aries season. The fool represents Aries in the tarot, right? And the fool takes a leap of faith. The fool takes risks and isn't overly worried about the consequences because the fool trusts his intuition. He's ready um, and he knows that he'll land on his feet, right? And yes, you have to be cautious. Yes, you have to, you know, be um, tread carefully because it's a delicate situation, but if you can assume some of the qualities of Aries right now, as we are in Aries season, I feel like your calculated risk will pay off. Okay. Um, 
So what was that saying? Like Johnny Depp has a saying that like, if you're in love with two people at once, choose the second person because, you know, if you really loved the first one, you wouldn't have fell for the second one to begin with. Right? It kind of applies in this situation. Um, let me know in the comments if this has resonated with you and um, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.